So I'm going to try to do this. I talk a lot with my hands, so I'll try to be mindful of where this mic is. But my name is Charles Williams. If you were in my last session, thank you for rejoining me. Uh, so I only have five minutes, so I'm going to try to make this thing quick. So I've been a school leader for well over a decade now, pushing 12, 13 years. And over the last few years, I started shifting something. And that is what I wanted to bring to you. It's a statement that me and my other school leaders now say to each other of bringing it back to the middle. Now, if you're like me or most school leaders, you have that proverbial checklist, right? Those things that you have to do, whether it's on the whiteboard, whether it's on your desk, whether wherever it might be. But it's all those important things, especially that last one, which maybe we don't take uh, do too, too often. But here's the thing, right? It feels really good, right? Whenever we're done, like when you walk out and it's always done. Anybody ever? All the time? No, right? It never Ever happens that list gets longer and longer and longer we like we check off two things we add 12 and we're like it's never ever going to end and we start to ask ourselves this question of I wish I had more time in the day to get all the things done and I, I was the same way always asking that question and I started realizing I'm asking the wrong question and that's why I wasn't getting all the things done because it wasn't about knocking all the things off my checklist but instead I had to make a mindset shift and now I'm a little faster than my slide here so I'm slowing down a little bit because there's supposed to be another one but I'm going to say it anyway are we getting the right things done right Am I focused and focused on doing the, the, the right things instead? So a few years ago, I read this book, Essentialism. It's been a foundation of a PLC that I've started. And it talks a lot about this idea of I expend a lot of energy in different spaces. But instead of spending energy all over the place and never actually getting anything done, what would happen if I took a lot of that energy and focused it instead? So then, of course, this Venn diagram. I know you've seen this thing before and you're like, I'm tired of seeing it. And we talk a lot about in the middle and that's important. But guess what? A lot of us don't always exist in the middle. So I took the opportunity, the liberty maybe, of defining and talking about those two other areas. So the first one there, the zone of deflected accountability. I came up with it. I, I hope it works. But those are those things that matter that we have absolutely no control over. And a lot of times we spend time in that space, we're focused and we're having those conversations about things that are truly, truly important, but at the end of the day, they have, they, we, we have no control over them. And so we start saying things like this, they, 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 if only they, I can't do anything until they, they, they. We're talking about these other entities, whether it's the district, whether it's the state, whomever it might be, and we find ourselves growing more and more tired and frustrated and agitated and we're sitting on LinkedIn trying to figure out maybe where else we can go, maybe it's a used car dealership like we talked about earlier, but because we're focused and we're doing things that we have absolutely no control over. On the other side of that, there's that zone of limited authority. That's where we have control, they really don't matter. It feels good, right? I can control something, but does it really matter in the end? Right? And I get it, a lot of times we spend time in this space because at some point during the day, we need to feel like we have some sort of control over something, just something. And so we're always looking for those little things, but the problem is, is when we exist in this space, we don't become great school leaders, we become something else, right? And you'll know these, right? Well, you know, I'm sorry, but your lesson plan format was not documented the right way. Who cares? I'm sorry, why are you wearing open-toed shoes? Are those the things that are important? Right? But we get, become so focused on those things that we actually have control over that we, we get wrapped up in those spaces. And then the people in our building don't necessarily care for us. So here's what I want you to do. It's okay that if you're existing in one of those spaces, I want you to pause, breathe, and reflect for just a moment. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you two questions that you can start to ask yourself as you're doing this work to move out of those things and instead bringing it back to the middle. Because the truth is, is we're, we're being controlled by other factors. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to be controlled by these external factors, but instead I want to take some more control. So I'm going to give you two questions here that will help you refocus. So the first thing is, what can I do to take steps towards what I'm trying to accomplish? Not, focus, whatever, everybody else, but what can I do to move us closer towards our goals? Because the truth is, the answer is a lot. But so, so many times we're focused on those things that we don't control, that we lose sight of that. And the last one is, are we focused on the important things? Am I focused on the mission, the vision, and the values of my space? Or am I getting distracted by all those other things because they're alluring, because maybe I can control those things? No, 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 bring it back to that middle. Am I focused on the right things? And I know what you're thinking, Charles, there's a lot of things that exist in those other spaces and I agree with you, but guess what? There's a lot of other people who could help take those things off your plate because you do not have to do it all. 
So feel free to use that D word and delegate, delegate, delegate. Push it up because if that is distracting you from doing the work that you're supposed to do, then it's not, it's not what you need to be focusing on. So today when you go back, throughout the rest of this week, I just want you to use this mantra that we've been using of just bring it back to the middle. Because whenever we're stressed outside and we're talking about things and I'm like, I don't know about that, we look at each other and we're like, hey, we're just gonna bring it back to the middle. Thank you, enjoy the rest of your year.